Hi, my name's Miriam and I've lived in Cardiff for around 18 years. I'm a member of Emmanuel Baptist Church in Cabalbin. I want to take you back a few years to when I was 32. I was diagnosed with a tumour in my salivary gland which had spread to my neck and my jaw. I had two surgeries to remove the majority of the tumour and then I underwent radiotherapy to remove whatever remained of the cancer. That was probably the most brutal and darkest point of my treatment. It was 30 sessions of climbing onto a cold wooden table to be pinned by the head and neck and flooded with radiation. It was painful, it was uncomfortable and it lasted what felt like forever. It felt like the craziest thing in the world to be doing, as I seemed to get worse every single day. I was a similar age to when Jesus, to Jesus was when he died on the cross. And if it seemed crazy that I was willing to undergo the suffering that I did, imagine how much more difficult it was for Christ to suffer what he endured on the cross. God himself willingly suffered on the cross at the hands of the very people he had created. My suffering was an entirely selfish act in the uncertain hope that it would cure me from the cancer and I'd live a slightly longer um, earthly life. Christ's suffering, which was incomparable to mine, not just physical suffering, but spiritual suffering, was an entirely selfless act. He did it to take away the punishment for all the wrong that we have done. He died so that we can have a certain hope of an everlasting life. When I lay down on that table and I got off again, things always felt a little bit darker the next day. When Christ went to the cross and he was put in the tomb, it seemed like the darkest point of history. God, who had taken on human flesh, had suffered, had, had died and was now dead. But three days later... He, he rose again and conquered so much more than cancer because he conquered death. Although um, my treatment and the time that I had cancer was incredibly difficult, there was, and there were certain times when I was incredibly frightened, I was never afraid of death. I hoped to live longer and I thank God that I did, but I was not afraid of dying because I knew that death had been conquered. Even before I had to stare death in the face, I knew what would happen to me when I died. Because my biggest problem was not my cancer, it was my sin. My sin is what would bring me eternal death and eternal separation from God. But I knew I'd already been healed from that sin through Christ taking the punishment for me on the cross. A sinless saviour had died for sin for me. So I knew that even if I was to die, I could stand before God, forgiven for my sins, and I would be with God in paradise forever, free from pain, free from death, and free from sorrow. Don't wait to make things right with God until you're staring death in the face. Because once you have, you can live your life in the certain hope of what will happen to you when you do die, whenever that may be. When you, when you eventually do die, when you've put your trust and your faith in Christ, your death will only bring you real life. It will bring you to your saviour and he will walk with you each day until the point when you do die. I want to read you some words from the Bible. Grace and peace to you from our God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. My hope was not in my radiation or my surgery, or even being free from cancer. My hope is in an eternal life because of Christ's death for me on the cross. My hope is in God.